Hey YouTube, this is Southern Prepper One. I'm going to talk about some 12 volt pumps. These pumps uh, have a built in pressure switch, so you can very affordably uh, pressurize your house in an emergency. This one right here is a Flow Jet, and it is a 12 volt and it puts out uh, 2.9 gallons per minute. Flow Jets are excellent. Here's a Sure Flow. This one um, puts out the 60 PSI, but it only does 1.8 gallons per minute. So you're going to have to figure out what you want. They come in all different sizes, uh, but they are 12 volts. Um, get one that has the pressure switch built in. So if you shut something off or shut the water off, it will shut the, the pump off. Uh, a battery, I have a few extra batteries for my setup here. Uh, that way if I have to run continuous for a long time, um, I can just keep that flowing. This is the setup. Basically, it's just a Black & Decker uh, toolbox that uh, will lift off. Underneath it, we have our battery stored. Um, so it accommodates a lot of different size batteries inside the bottom box. All that is is the, the battery. What I did, uh, mount your pump inside. Um, I actually used some screws and I put a piece of wood underneath it so it's really solid. That way this is very easy to carry. The one thing I'm gonna change is, uh, this is the outflow. They, they sell a small little hose, a three footer. I'm gonna definitely get that. That way I don't have to keep opening this up and changing it. That will be on the outside. Um, I think that would be better. I have a switch on the outside so I can turn it on. And I also have a fuse, it's fused properly. So this is an awesome setup. You can take this setup with some rain catchment. Hopefully it's a potable rain catchment system uh, after you purify it. You can use two females, connect it to here and connect it to any of your spigots. Uh, open up your spigot, that way this pump, your water supply can backfeed your system. Now, if you're on a municipal source, uh, there's definitely some rules and regulations, check into those. I recommend putting an on-off switch or a cut-off switch, the water coming in if you're on a city water. That way you can cut that off and only pressurize your system. But check your, your rules and regulations on that. Some won't let you, but in a severe grid down situation, I don't think you're gonna to be too worried about some regulator coming around. So basically, I have my water. My valve is open. This is on demand, so all I gotta simply do is Turn it on. It has pressure now on my pump. You can hear it running. Nice pressure. Almost as good as my 220 well pump. Not as good, but it will do the job. I can wash the car, wash the dog. Uh, this is great for spot fires, uh, wetting things down. I like this setup because one reason, it's very quiet. If I need a lot of water in a grid down situation, and I have to fire up either a one inch gas or a two inch gas pump. They're very loud. Um, this can be very quiet. So if you're in an urban setting, you can put one of these totes or two of these totes in your garage. Nobody will know it's there. You can fill it with municipal water. Uh, so it's ready to go at any minute. A very affordable setup. You're looking probably at $75 for a battery. You're looking less than $75 for a pump. Uh, $20 for this, some miscellaneous parts, so for a, a few hundred dollars, probably $300, you can do everything here, even the $50 used tote, um, and you can have some pressurized water. Now, if you have rain catchment outside, you can collect your rain water, bring it into your garage, uh, send it through some type of ceramic filter, and then add that water into here. So, very affordable to pressurize uh, get some pressurized water in the house. Or let's say you've got a bug out location and you want to pressurize it. You can use this setup with regular spigots, uh, regular sinks, and uh, you can have pressurized water. I can also take this, put one of these in the back of my pickup truck, put this in there. Uh, I can have a little modified brush truck. So if there's a fire nearby, I can take water. Uh, I'm not gonna fight a huge war with fire, but I can definitely wet things down and protect property from spot fire. This is very handy. In a natural disaster or an emergency, I can load this up. I have three potable water ones of these, fill them full of rain, or excuse me, my well water, 
and I can take water to people. I can give them pressurized water for any use. So very affordable. The 12 volt pumps, you can't beat them. Um, so think about it. You don't have to spend thousands of dollars to get a little bit of pressurized water at your retreat, your homestead, or just your house. Thanks for watching.